Right, hello again folks, just going to film another load of golf balls um, with logos on them. I'm going to film 70 in this video, which will probably take about 25 minutes to do, and then I'll film the other ones. Some of them I've found, some of them I've bought, and some of them are just makes of golf balls that are unusual uh, without logos on. So, first video is going to be the 70 with logos. For those of you that don't want to watch a video that's going to take about um, 25 minutes, I'll do a very quick pass. So you've only got a one minute long video to watch. So here we go, very quick pass. So you get a rough idea. I know a lot of you don't want to watch long videos, that's fair enough. Um, but for those of you that are, are really interested in logo golf balls and golf balls, you will want to watch a long video. So. so that's a very quick view of them. Before I start making the long video, I will say to those of you watching, Please make sure you bookmark youtube.com forward slash user forward slash awesome full HD videos. That's me. And uh, if you click on where it says playlist, then click on creative playlist. Then look for the one that's about golf balls. You'll find all my other logo videos. I've got about 80 videos so far on YouTube to do with logo golf balls. So if you want to see my entire collection of roughly five to 6,000 logo golf balls, find that playlist. Have a look through about 80 videos and you'll be able to see my entire collection. That's in case anybody's interested in making me an offer for them. They may be for sale if the price is right. If not, I'm going to hang on to them. Um, other than that, I'll get started now. Uh, what I do is I basically I pick up each golf ball, show you the logo, talk about it a bit, and then I show you what type of ball it's on because that can date the ball. Each side stamp on a golf ball you can use to date a ball, should you want to. So let's start. London Golf Club, presumably London, England. I've got... I've got a few of these, so I've definitely got this to, to spare. And that's on a Titleist Tour Speed with that design like that. Ball condition is good. I should also say, allow for lighting conditions. It's extremely dull outside where I'm filming from today. It's pouring with rain. Um, I've got I've got a normal light on in the room, and I've also got this, whatever you call these, bendy lights over the golf balls. Try and give as much light as I can, but again, allow for lighting conditions. And uh, where I think I need to, I will explain if the golf ball looks faded or anything like that. Just so you know the condition I'm talking about. Next, the Berkshire with a couple of nice, uh, what looks like stag deers as the logo. A little bit of a mark there. And of course, all of these balls are used. None of them are brand new. These are all balls that have uh, been played on golf courses in East Anglia, England. So there you go, Srix and Softfield. Next, Heineken, that's the uh, beer brand that used to advertise a lot on TV, they don't anymore. And in tiny writing, something like, I think that's EST established, good, 1873 possibly? Um, as you can see, ball is used condition, uh, AD333, yeah that's not a great condition one, I've probably got a better condition one than that. Next, now this is hard to make out because as you can see it's been played and this, the logo is now scrubbed away. Anybody work out what that says? Lots of green leaves as part of the logo and then I'm not even sure I've got it the right way around. Um, anyway, oh and that is on a medalist, a Kushnet. A Kushnet is the company that also makes Titleist golf balls. They also make Pinnacle golf balls, so Kushnet is a huge company. Right, next, this is a really nice, huge logo. Look at the size of this logo. Grange Park GC, Grange Park Golf Club, .co.uk. A nice rose on a cross. And that's on a Maxfly Revolution LC. I think that's probably the first of that type of ball I've ever had. So this could well be a 2022 model. I'm guessing that is. Um, very good condition, that. Next, Mitsubishi Chemical Europe. Well, I didn't. I know Mitsubishi, the company that makes cars and aircraft, but I didn't know they had a chemical um, division. If that is the same company, Mitsubishi, I think that's, yeah, Mitsubishi Chemical, okay. Um, oh, and that's on a hybrid Averio. That's a type of ball I don't think I've ever had before either. So that's another one I need to make a note of at some point. Next, Girton Golf Club. Cambridgeshire. Well, Girton is part of Cambridge, really. Um, so there you go. That's on a DT True Soft. The ball, you can see it's used, but the actual logo is a good condition. 
next another logo that's unfortunately a bit scuffed up blue nine i think that says golf club you can see the logo is scuffed away uh, blue nine i think that's what that says and that's on a very good condition pro v1x with that side stamp as you can see i use um, milk bottle tops to hold the golf balls in place when i'm filming and it works perfectly the perfect size for them next cave castle golf club uh, 1989 so not an old golf club castle as part of the design weird hard to describe that color it's not bronze it's kind of a very pale brown browny yellow strange color um, and that's on a soft feel I think that's probably about a 2021 20, 2022 model so it's a pretty new ball next I don't know that might just be someone's name or initials that doesn't really look like a business to me uh, vice Vice Pro, um, yeah, that's probably just somebody's name they've side stamped. Next, cement. You can see the uh, cement written on the. I've only got bricks, and then it says AR Aspel and Sons Limited Building Supplies. Okay, that's a nice enough ball, and that's on a yellow Pro V1. That's the 2021-2022 model, and that ball's pretty much mint. Next. Uh, a something marketplace what's the second letter that's rather scrubbed anybody know what that is a e maybe unfortunately you can see the ball's been whacked right on the logo there a c or a e something like a e marketplace uh, another of that type of ball right next bidwells i believe is an estate agent they used to have an office here in the Cambridge area. Don't know if it's still open. It always looks closed when I go past it. Uh, Pro V1. That's a bit worn. I think I've got a better condition one than that. Twos Club. I've had three or four of these over the years. This one's in good condition, it has to be said. Pro V1. Um, I still don't know what it is. I did try to Google Twos Club and I still can't find anything about it. So if anybody knows anything about that, please let me know. Leave a comment. Next. Uh, Rossi, I think that might just be someone's name stamped onto the ball on a Srixen SF Lady. Um, I'm going to assume that's just somebody's name stamped on the ball. Next, Maidstone Golf Centre Range. And you've got those markings that range balls have on the side. Um, M What's it? Maidstone Golf Centre. So that's a, that's a G. Because it's a bit... The ball's a bit worn, it's difficult to see. I thought it might be an MCC, but that's MGC. So, Maidstone Golf Centre Range. Well, that certainly wasn't found in Maidstone. Um, is that another one? Yeah, so that's a second look. London Golf Club, that's the second one I've got. That Callaway Warbird this time. What was the first one? Oh, the other one was on a tour speed, so yeah. So, that particular company has printed a logo on a number of different balls. Next, practice. That's simply. Pro V1 that's been on a practice range. Again, does anybody know? Do the balls that have practice print on them, are they as good as normal balls? I mean, what kind of golf club buys brand new Titleist Pro V1 balls and prints practice on them? I don't know. Next, England's nice big shield. And it's good timing finding this recently because obviously we've got the World Cup starting this Sunday. Uh, where are we today? Today's Thursday. So in three days' time, there's going to be a World Cup starting in December. Well, no, sorry, end of November 2022. Unbelievable. So anyway, England. Um, I don't fancy our chances, to be honest. I don't even know half the people in the team when I saw it announced the other day. Next. That's the logo for HSBC, the banking giant um, involved in lots of scandals, including laundering drug money. So not a fan of that company. Next. Born Golf and Leisure, again they've got a deer or a stag as part of the uh, logo design. Nice nice logo, again difficult to explain that colour, it's kind of a browny red. Uh, and that's on a DT True Soft, that is, that is mint condition. That's probably the first time it's been hit when it got lost. Next, now this is a funny one. 
I found this picture on the board. I was trying to work out what it was, and then I realised it's a picture of someone pulling their pants down and doing a moon, showing their bum. <laughs> Very funny. And then uh, turn it over, and it says, Happy birthday, knobhead. <laughs> so someone with a sense of humour has given that to somebody. Uh, that was funny. Uh, I like that one. Next. Now, this is a weird one. TVA Seistra and then Punct Fasterus. What on earth is that? I don't know what language that is. Uh, that's on a pretty new, I think it's about the 2021 model of uh, that particular ball. Good condition. Next, the San Roque Club with like a gold oak leaf as the uh, logo. I don't know where that is. I'd have to look that one up. Kind of sounds like Spain, but with an oak leaf, I'm not, I'm not sure. And that's on a tour speed ball that is rather used. Next, the old course St Andrew's Links. So that's in Scotland. Nice logo design. What's that picture in the middle there? Is that supposed to be like a Knights Templar or something? Kind of looks like that, doesn't it? Uh, and that's on a Callaway Warbird. Nice ball. Next. Henderson Global Investors. Okay, and that's on that type of Pro V1. On the Titleist website, they actually have a list showing you the different size stamps and what they mean. Each different design represents a two-year period. So, for example, this could be the 2013 till 2015 ball. You know, and that's how you can date golf balls. Because sometimes you find a company, and you, when you Google it, you find out that company is no longer in business or they've merged or something. So um, some of these logos are worth having because they, they're companies that no longer exist. Next. Now, this is unfortunately someone's got a pen mark right through the blooming logo. But as you can see, a deer with antlers and then it's red. I'm not sure if that first letter is an L. Libits? Something Country Club. Um... I have to take the ink off that because that is really in the way. Next, and as you can tell, some people just don't care about logos and golf balls. Obviously, they're playing all these balls with logos on, so they don't care. They don't care if they scratch them up, but I do. I collect logos. So, um, next, SAS, the power to know. Well, you'll be able to work that one out, and it looks like it's got like an R for registered trademark after SAS. Uh, and that's on a Nike ball. Don't get many Nike balls with logos. High launch is the type of ball. Next. Now this is a very interesting one. Mitsubishi Corporation. I like this one because uh, a mate of mine went to Mitsubishi in Japan on a um, business trip. And it's on a type of ball I've never had before. Tour stage. Um, and I believe this is the same as like the Bridgestone Company, so it's a Japanese ball, V10. Weird dimple pattern on it. But that's a good one, simply because it's a new type of ball to me. So that's again, that's one I need to write down. I'll put that. Let me put the ones I need to mark on a different position. Right, next. Uh, James Lynch. I'm not sure if that's someone's name simply printed on the ball, or whether that could be someone famous or something. I don't know. It's probably just somebody's name. Next. Blagden, black and red logo, uh, ball as you can see is a bit scuffed up, it's been hit quite a few times, okay, don't know what that company does, next, Stoke by Nayland Golf Club, uh, so English club I believe, isn't Stoke up somewhere up in Manchester, I'm not sure, I don't really know that area, but I think that might be. And that's about a 2020 model of the that type of ball, I think. Again, another practice ball. That one's got a scuff on it. Next. I think this is the second time I've had this logo, and it doesn't say what, what golf club it is, so I do not know. Is there any tiny... Ah, oh, there might be tiny, tiny, tiny lettering there. See where my nail is? Is that lettering or something underneath that? Black lettering and numbers on the white, and there, I think there is something there, but it's so tiny, I just cannot tell what that says. But anyway, I don't know what that is. Anyone know what that shield is? Let me know, and that's on the brand new Pro V1. 
Next. Bedfordshire Golf Club, founded 1891. Wow, that's an old, long time ago. A nice logo design. Got a bird as the logo, basically. Bedfordshire. I've certainly driven through Bedfordshire. That's a 2022 model of the True Feel, I think. Next. Relax and commit. That's just, I presume, someone just printed that little slogan on their ball to help them play a bit better. Um, relax and commit. Next. ALN Carpentry. Nice enough logo. Big logo. And that's on a tailor-made TP5X. Next. Oh, this is hard to read because it's scuffed, unfortunately. Yeah, a lot of it's missing. Is that something like property prop? It could be. It could be some funny slogan or some property. Mm, I can't make that out. It's too scuffed anyway. Never mind. That was not much use. Next. Pentaco Construction Limited. Nice logo. Uh, some kind of building company, I presume. Next. Ooh, that's not too easy to read. Uh, she Shepherd, I think, is what that says. Something like Shepherd on a blue triangle. Oh, and there was some writing on the back. Yeah, is that Chartered, probably? Chartered Surveyors, probably. And the type of ball, God, there's not much left. Max fly, probably. Or could it have been Srixen? No, that was probably a Max fly, something or other. Anyway, you can tell rather a worn out. Well, that's okay. I will keep it because it's the only one I've got of that. Next. Again, I'm not sure whether this, this could be someone's name that they've had personalised golf balls. Uh, I found two of those actually, so he's had a bad day if that's a golfer. Next, now this is an interesting one, JK131, what on earth does that mean? And it's on black on one side, red on the other, so that does kind of seem more like a logo to me than somebody that's personalised their ball. I've never seen someone personalise their ball with two colours, but what the hell is JK131? Anybody know? I think I did Google that and I couldn't have come up with anything, so. Next, Guinness, and then the signature, Alf is it Alfred Guinness or something or other? Um... Established 1759, that's the type of beer that looks black with a white head on it. Uh, I've got much better condition logos. I've got some brand new ones, in fact, of Guinness logo. So um, this is pretty bad. Next, Kings Hill Golf Club. Don't know where that is. Nice big logo. Kind of a grey, grey colour that's printed in. And that's on a Pro V1, good condition. Next, Bule Rock. I did look this one up. This is somewhere in America. I can't remember where. I think it might be somewhere towards New York State, I think, off the top of my head. I did look it up. Anyway, and it's it's not that old of a golf club, but um, there you go. someone's presumably been on holiday. Now, this one, I thought, oh, that's a nice logo. And then I realised, I think that's somebody's pen mark. Um, somebody's actually done that as their designed on the golf ball you see it's a cactus with a star it's done so well that it looks like a logo <laughs> well done whoever did that you fooled me next n with what looks like a wolf howling so anybody know what that is let me know pro v1 x that's brand new um but I don't know what that is, so let me know. And if you do let me know, say say the time into the video you're talking about. So say at 19 minutes 15, the end logo with the grey wolf is, and then explain. Thank you very much. Next, Waving. Um, that's on the title list. Tour Soft. Don't know what Waving is. Next, 1903. Got an Indian with a feather headdress. Headdress um, on. So presumably that's some kind of American golf course. But uh, anybody know that one? Let me know. MLC Global. Black and red design on a Callaway Super Soft. Don't know what they do. 
This one I've had before, and I don't know what it is. 1948, it's got some bird like that. I don't know what type of bird that's supposed to be. So presumably it's a golf course, but uh, and that's a 2022 model of that ball, I think. Anybody know what that one is? Let me know. I, or, I must have five or six of this particular logo now. I still don't know what it is. And this one's unfortunately a bit worn. That's not particularly good. So I could sell or swap that one. Next, nice big logo. What looks like a grey heron as the logo. Um, and that's on a noodle. You don't get many of these balls at all. Noodle. So, no idea what that one is. Next. SDC 50 and it says 1972 to 2022 so that company's turned 50 uh, and that's on a mint condition Pro V1 I think that's a 2019 model I think next Guy Carpenter again I wasn't sure if that was somebody's name but there is a little bit of a logo design now, and I looked it up and it is a business um You'll have to look it up yourself because I can't remember what they do. Next. Colchester Golf Club. Founded 1907. Nice logo that. Red, brown, yellow. Kind of a purpley colour. Nice logo. On a DT True Soft. That's a good one. Next. Thompson Webb and Caulfield Solicitors. And that's on a Pro V1. It's nice enough. And then I got the same company, this time on a Srixen ball. Um, and I think I got those two on the same day, so it could well be the same golfer lost those on the same day. Who knows? Next. Oh, Eel Orc Surfs Golf Club Mauritius. And I looked this up, you can actually find this on Google Earth. You can find the golf course. Uh, interesting place. Somebody who's been on holiday, presumably, and brought this ball back from. Mauritius, very nice. Next. RA, again, presumably that's somebody's just stamped their initials on the ball. Uh, as you can see, poor condition. This has probably been lost for many years when, where I found it. Cleaned up as much as I can and can't get that off. That's... Uh, once a ball's been sat for like 10, 15 years with leaves and stuff decaying every winter on it, you, you end up with balls looking like that. These are not out of lakes, in case anybody's wondering. These are not lake balls. None of them are. But that's not how I got them anyway. So, um, in case you're wondering. Next. Four Seasons Golf Club. Oh, another one. Mauritius at Anahita, I think that says. So, another ball for Mauritius. Very nice. Next, City Plumbing. I think I've got a few of these logos over the years, so um, potentially I've got that as a swap or a sale. And that ball, and again, I don't know why balls sometimes go yellow like that. I presume it's some kind of chemical reaction in the ball. Again, it could be because it's been left on grass for months and months or something like that. I don't know. Next, Brixley. Nice big logo. Uh, it's not quite black. It's like a very dark blue, I think, to my eyes anyway. Um, and that's on a Callaway Super Soft. Pretty good condition ball, that. Looks good. Next, Delarue. I looked this one up. It almost looks like Abraham Lincoln, doesn't it, to me? I looked that up, and this is the company that prints banknotes for England. So, um, they're obviously making a mint. Get it? Ha ha ha. But, so uh, yeah, Delarue, they, they print banknotes and things like that for governments. And that's on a Pro V1. Next, be the ball. It's just some slogan. I presume someone's had printed on the ball to personalise it. I don't think that's a company or anything. Next, now this is very hard to make out. I almost missed it. There's something printed on there, which I can't quite make out. It might just be somebody's name. Something that could be from. And then, anyway, it's on a Pinnacle Lady... Uh, Susan Coman for the cure. So this is some kind of cancer charity that I presume Pinnacle support. And it's one of these balls that's kind of 
almost looks transparent. It's a weird, weird design. Anyway, some kind of logo possibly, or maybe it's just personalised. Next, Holy Frontier Tournament Series. Holy, Holy Frontier? I don't know. No idea what that's all about. Nice enough condition ball. Next, HGS Estates. I've had this two or three times, so I've got swaps or spares of that. And last ball in this uh, roughly 70 I've just filmed. West Cross Environmental Services. And that's on that. It's about a 2020 model of that. So there we go. That's that lot. And then I'll stop this video and I'll make another video to show you off these other things. Um, so if you've got any comments, please leave a comment. Let me know why you're watching. How did you find this video? Uh, have you got any favourites? Can you name any of these companies that I don't know? Um, any ideas for future videos? Do you want me to go into any more detail, etc.? And please share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Getter, Instagram, email, Reddit, Dig, Golf Forums. Wherever you think somebody might want to watch this video, please copy and paste the, the link so they can watch it. And one more time, I'll say, please bookmark youtube.com forward slash user forward slash awesome full HD videos. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye bye.